Thanks, but I won't be able to stay long. I'm meeting a friend for lunch upstairs. Oh, and you've come to ask me to join you. No, I don't think that would be a good idea. Aha. Uh -huh. And you're not meeting a friend, you're meeting a lover. Devoutly to be wished, but since I have no lover... Of course you do. Oh, really? Who? <laughs> me. That was a long time ago. Yes, but soon to be rectified. I don't think so. I mean, who would want a lover who keeps his hand on my thigh while whispering <laughs> sweet nothings to my sister? <laughs> she didn't see a thing. <laughs> I got news for you. Guess who saw every one of your astonishing moves? How could you? Oh, you're not serious. I'm afraid so. Now, you little witch. And you let me continue doing what I was doing? She hates you now. Doesn't that bother you? No. No, you wanted proof that you were the only woman in my life. Now you have it. Besides, why should I care about losing the old model when I've got the new, improved version right here in my arm. Mm -hmm. You have an answer for everything, don't you? Neat, plausible, and wrong. I'm not wrong, I'm right. You want me as much as I want you. You just won't admit it. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. When are you going to stop playing games, Julia? Just give in to it. How about tonight? Shall we say, uh... Seven o'clock, right here in my office. I'm working late. I'll see you then. Julia, don't come back if you're not going to stay. See you at seven, Jack. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. I am aware of that. It's being taken care of right now. That's right. Kelly and her friend Nick will not be giving us any more trouble. Yeah. I mean, she said she was going to meet us here at 12.30, and it's not like Kelly not to call. I know. Maybe she's stuck in traffic. I guess. I just can't help from worrying. I, I don't think that she's out of danger like everyone else does. I know, darling. Well, she's not that late yet. Let's wait a few more minutes. Oh, is she not coming? Do you want me to take that? No, no, no. no it's all right. Not yet. Okay, Thanks. I'll tell the waiter that you're not quite ready. Okay? Thank you. Water. Just give it to the lock table. Okay. Seventy-five bucks for lunch and a fifteen-dollar tip. You're Can kidding. You that? Oh my <laughs> God. So how are you doing, huh? I'm running out of pockets, I think. <laughs> Paychecks. Oh. Not that you deserve it. Well, thank you. Don't I get one? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, oh, I love this. There's no strings attached to this, baby. This is money earned the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and I know just what I'm going to do with this. How about you? Oh, uh, this is spoken for. All of it? Um, most of it. I have a little bit left. Hey, you want to do something to celebrate uh, paycheck and uh, first week on the job and stuff like that? All right, why don't you uh, come on over tonight and we'll, um... Okay. Um, um, the uh, boss lady wants to talk to you. Uh, behave yourself, okay? Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, more water, butter. Um, a waiter, perhaps? No, actually, if Kelly calls, just tell her that we'll be at home. Fine. Sure. Thank you. Welcome. You know, if she doesn't show up soon, I'm going to start calling every name in her address book. I know. Just know something's wrong, Mom. You're unconscious, good. Hurry up. Get them in the trunk before they come to. Go. Okay. Tie the uh, hands and feet first. I don't want anything going wrong. Come on, hurry it up. You've got to be gone before anyone knows that they're missing. Right.
Great. Now, this poor thing over here mm -hmm. hasn't had a drink in ages. See how dry it is? Uh-huh. Watch this one. Careful. Did I spill any? No, you didn't. I'm impressed, Mom. And well, you should be. Watch oh. this one. I'm really getting the hang of this. No more poor little invalid. She walks, she talks, she waters plants. She's a great contribution to society. How's that? You are doing great. <laughs> Fantastic. Did I tell you I had the most wonderful swim this morning? And you went swimming by yourself? Well, I thought of asking Frank, but I don't know, maybe next time. It's funny, you know how much I fantasize about that man. Tell me something. Is he really handsome? He's okay. Oh, good, because he's planned this very special evening Friday night, and I think he may pop the question. What? Mom, you're still married to Daddy. Well, everybody's got their cross to bear. Besides, you'll be divorced soon. Why shouldn't I say her yes to Frank? Let's see now. As far as your father's concerned, that weasel, it's about time we prune the family tree. Now. Is that the Schifflera? Oh, good, I think it is, because it just loves ice water. Oh, I can just hear it moaning with joy. There, I told you I'd be back for him. There's no way I'd let a stranger buy those. I don't see why not. Because they're family heirlooms, that's why not. Here, let me put these in a bag for you. <sighs> Truth is, I thought you were a runaway. Most of the kids who come in here are. Not me, I got a great family. Mm. You're a lucky girl. Yeah. I used to feel sorry for the others, but uh, they don't know what they're missing, so why feel sorry for them, right? <laughs> it only hurts the ones who know the difference. No, thanks, Charlie. Okay, goodbye. No one at the Bistro has seen Kelly either. I think we've gone through every number in this book, and we haven't heard from Nick yet, have no. we? No. I'm getting scared. No. Scared? <laughs> scared about what? What's wrong? We can't find Kelly. She was supposed to meet us for lunch. She didn't show up. She didn't call. And after all the attempts in her life, CC. Oh, but... come on, you two. Maybe she changed her mind, and she decided to go to the beach. Well, she did say it was too nice to stay indoors. Maybe, maybe she's sailing. Yeah, I guess. You guess you can do better than that. I don't know, Daddy. My, my. Isn't this cozy? Mason, what are you doing here? He always asks me that. Have you noticed? I was reading Brandon a story. I figure that's the least I can do since I'm his trustee. He uh, tells me that you saw Gina this morning. What'd you think? Is she any better? I couldn't tell. She was very quiet, subdued. She was concerned about Brandon. That's odd, because when I saw her, she was violent. Maybe you bring out the worst in her, Mason. Maybe she was sedated. No, no, no drugs at all. Yet, she did seem the same to me. Well, if there's no improvement, you might consider another facility. Well, I think I'll give it some more time. Well, Daddy, how, how much longer do you think we should wait for Kelly? Kelly? Uh, oh, yeah, she was supposed to meet us at the Express at 12.30, and she didn't show up. Well, I'm on my way over there now. If I see her, I'll have her call you. Thank you, Mason. Mm-hmm, John. Oh, Kelly has an address book, um, a friend's book. I'll, he's probably upstairs. Let me go, go look check that. Right. Thank you, honey. Okay. It is after 2.30 now. Uh, all right, I know. I should take my own advice yes. and stop worrying. Yes, you should. All right, then let's change the subject. You were going to tell me something about Jack Lee that he had good news. That's right. Jack is certain that the DA won't be able to make the first-degree murder charge stick, but he says if the DA tries, he won't let him get very far with it. Cece, I'm so happy. I don't know how to thank you. You've helped Brandon. You've helped me since Jeannie's been in the hospital. That's enough. See, you said you were going to stop worrying about Kelly. You've always been able to read my mind. I'm 
sure that she's out sailing and she'll be home in a couple hours with her friend. Heavy rain in most areas by mid-afternoon. High winds are expected to make traveling hazardous. Now back to our hour of country hits. Hey, Doc. How much longer do I have to drive? Do I tell you to stop? Well, I'm getting hungry. Did you stop complaining. It's all you ever do is complain. Hello. Jack, Renfro. It's about time. Did you get them? Got no worry. They're safe and snug in the trunk. We have a problem, though. We're heading into some bad weather, so I've decided to spend the night in that abandoned motel we talked about. We'll head off to the silo in the morning. All right, I'll tell James to meet you there. Call me when you arrive. I want you in constant touch. Relax, Jack. By this time tomorrow, you won't have to worry about Nick and Kelly ever again. Oh, just remember, you got human beings in that trunk, not laboratory rats. <laughs> it's going to work beautifully, Jack. Just you wait and see. Oh, I'm waiting, my friend. With bated breath. Nick! Kelly, it's all right. It's all right, I'm here. Where are we? I think we're in the trunk or something, probably that limo. Where are they? What, what are we doing? What do they want from us? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know where they are. <laughs> we're probably lucky to be alive. You know, Cruz is probably following us and for I, a setup. I wouldn't be so sure, Kelly. I don't even think he got our message about Jack Lee. What? You think Jack Lee is involved in all this? I don't know. I don't know. The only thing I do know is we've been kidnapped. How? All we have to figure out now is by whom, <laughs> why, and how we can get out of this. Language, it's it's me. I'm not sure where Lakin is. Good, but then we're alone. Yeah, I think so. That's good. Because I want you to tell me the truth about something. About what? I'm not sure. I just have the feeling that there might be another presence in this house besides you and Julia and Lakin and Minx. You mean like a spirit, a ghost? Something like that. Something sly and intrusive and, oh, I don't know, alien. None of us have seen it. You seem so sure. I wonder why I feel this other presence. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those ESPs you get when you, when you lose a sense. Ah, you know? maybe that's Christy, it. hi. I hi. thought I heard you come in. Ah, let me guess. You were out shopping and blowing that paycheck of yours, right? <laughs> How did you know it was payday? Oh, I just got off the phone with Ted. Oh, you two are talking again. Mother. What do you mean? You told me you had a fight. That's what you said. Well, we didn't exactly have a fight. It was more like a compromise. Oh, so you two are back together again. Oh, I don't know what it means exactly. At least we're talking, so. Guess what? What? Bought the new Madonna album. One more. <laughs> yes, of course I want to hear it. What a stupid question. OK. I think I'll go upstairs. Oh. Hey, Chrissy. You go watch for my mom. Don't let her come downstairs. Yes, certainly. Daddy, I have to talk to you. I am listening. <laughs> but if you want to talk to me about your mother divorcing me, forget it. It's not going to happen. And also, I don't want to hear any more about her marrying Frank, because that is a lot of hooey. Daddy, you are acting like this is a big joke or something. What? Can't you just tell her right out that it was all set up? No, no, can't tell her that. She would then marry Frank out of spite. Honey, honey, you gotta trust me on this one. I have a plan. It's gonna work. Believe Daddy, me. Daddy, huh? I do trust you, and I do want to believe that what you're saying is true. Huh? But I think she might want to divorce you when she finds out that. No, all no, this... no, no, no. She can't find out if nobody tells her. Yeah, but I don't think we have to tell her. I think she already knows. Huh? Haven't you seen the way she's been walking around? It's like she has 
Some kind of a sixth sense or something. Oh, come on. You worry too much. Right. You know that? You just like your mama. Oh, do I? You know that sometimes, there are some times when you what? remind me of her. Maybe that's what I love about you, huh? Dad, I love you, yeah, too. I love you, too. Mm. And it's all going to work out. We're going to be a big family again. I promise oh, you. Oh, I want that. It's going to happen. I want that more than anything. You know right. that. You got it. <laughs> you know what else you got? What? Thanksgiving in July. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey, stuffing, or would you rather have Christmas, huh? Could we have a big Christmas tree and presents and all that? We can have it all. Crazy, oh, just yeah. the way we all do. Okay? <gasps> all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wish. Ah, look at all that vast, beautiful wilderness. You could scream till your throats were raw and no one would hear you. Probably walk for days before dying of exposure and thirst. Hmm. Obviously, you went to a great deal of trouble to kidnap us. The least you could do is tell us why. <laughs> well, for a very good reason, I assure you, Mr. Hartley. For what? Money? Always for money, Mr. Hartley. You gentlemen finished? Yep. Pretty little thing, isn't she? <laughs> My kind of girl. A little skinny, though. <laughs> Look at this arm. It's nothing but bone. Leave her alone. Who's gonna make me tough guy? All right, leave it. We have calls to make. Let's go, Chuck. Okay. Later, baby. Is the ransom money. That big guy seems to have got it all thought out. They get that file you're going to give to Cruz? Yeah. And that's got to be what they're after, Nick. We don't know that for sure. You heard what he said about the money, and he knows your father is wealthy. All we can do is just sit here and wait. But until one of them makes a move, no one's even going to know we're missing. Oh, man, I wish I would have told somebody else about Jack Lee. Yeah, me too. Hey, wait a second. Eden's going to know something because I was supposed to meet her for lunch, remember? All we can do is hope. That's it. <sighs> I wish I had a better plan. But we're in business. That phone call you intercepted to Cruz was the only call they made. <laughs> Think we'll get a bonus from Mr. Lee? This job isn't over yet. Let's get to come. We're not just pulling a job here, boys. We're shaping the future. <laughs> well, good afternoon, sir. Table for one? No, I, uh, I see my party right over there. Thank you. Well, if it isn't my worthy opponent, how are you, Jack? Quite worthy, thank you. You alone? What? It appears so. Good. Then I will join you, if you don't mind. We can discuss the Gillis case. Perhaps we can come to an equitable agreement. Hmm, I thought I'd made that quite clear. There is to be no settlement. This one's reserved for a jury. Well, I was just thinking of your client's financial straits. She might be very well advised to accept our offer. You know what they say about a bird in the hand. Mm, yes, well, that bird is worth exactly what it will bring in court, which is considerably more than my father's latest offer. So if you'll convey that message to your client, we can uh, resume this discussion another time, if you don't mind. You see, I'm expecting someone any minute, an old friend of yours, in fact. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll try to be more specific, Mason. I have so many old friends. Well, this one's a bit younger. Well. There she is now, in fact. Well, 
Well, isn't this nice? The three of us. Just standing here. <laughs> Sorry. Why, thank you, Jack. You're so... Underhanded. Professional courtesy. We you be expecting anyone, anyone else, Mr. Capwell? Well, I hope not. And Mr. Lee was just... I'm just uh, staying for a little while. Thank you very much, Mason. Cocktails for three? Yes, on Mr. Lee's tab. Thank you, Jack. Ah, the art of compromise, and the best man always wins. Thank you. Your order? Uh, I think just some mineral water while I look over the wine list. Good. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the sure same thing. You didn't tell me you were having lunch with Mason. Mason, I was just telling Julia, I didn't realize how well the two of you knew each other. Well, I didn't realize it either. It's only our second luncheon together. Oh, it's only the second. Oh, well, then I can bring up the Gillis case again. I didn't know you dropped it. So I'd like to file for a delay. I'd like to push off the court date a week, maybe two weeks. Uh, and since I'm the one requesting it, I'll take care of it, if you agree. Well, I can always use the extra time, though you've piqued my curiosity. I can't imagine why you'd want to put the trial off. Matter of life and death? No, just a little trip out of town. Uh, another uh, fact-finding mission for the president, perhaps? This one is more of a personal mission. How thrilling. I, I didn't know that you had a personal life, Jack. I have a very exciting personal life, my dear. And now I will leave you to your personal life. Mm -hmm. Mason, thank you very much. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Till we meet again? Whenever that will be. Julia. What? Oh, sorry. My, my mind was wandering. Well, you did so well while he was here. I think we can forgive you for that. You're not still in love with him, are you? Whatever gives you that idea? Oh, glint in your eye, shortness of breath, and the fact that your spying hasn't produced much in the way of results. What about the list of capital employees I stole for you? Yeah, well, I'm working on that. Well, if you need any other information, let me know. I'm seeing them again tonight. Hmm. Well, apart from concrete strategies, I'd love to know why he's stalling. Business about being out of town doesn't really wash. I'll see what I can do. Well, I think we already know exactly what you can do. You want me to go that far? I think you'd love to go that far. Not with you. the yacht, she's not at the club, and she's not at the hotel. Well, what about a movie? I could drive around and look for a car, maybe. No, no, I don't think that's necessary. Like I said, she's probably gone to the beach. And, and it's, what, 3.30? It's, it's, that's barely three hours. Let's give her a little more time. She's usually always home by dark. What if she isn't? Eden, I told you, we're not going to panic now. Yeah, I'll get that. Yeah. Hey. Ta-da! <laughs> you told me to stop by and we'd go celebrate payday, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Um... Good. I thought we'd go for a dog and then maybe get a bite to eat or, uh, or go to a movie. You know, I still haven't seen Susan. Can you believe it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Christy, but I'm, well, I'm, I'm kind of tied up right now. And I've got plans for tonight. We uh, didn't make this definite here, did we? Oh, no, huh? We were just kidding around. I like talking around anyway, unless some pervert follows me. Well, you should, probably shouldn't jog alone then. Right. Well, um, what are you going to do tonight? Well, I'm, I'm taking Lakin out to dinner at the Express. She didn't tell you that? No. Uh -uh. I mean, I knew you called, but, uh... Well, Ted, I'm going to eat. Here, come here, quick. Oh, just a second. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, ask her her name. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, too. Right. That's false alarm. It's all right. We're uh, going to do it. It just takes a matter of time here. And it takes us all working together. That's right. You know, when this family puts their heads together, there's nothing we can't do. Oh, shoot. Um, I'll just I'll be right back. <laughs> Christy?
Thirsty? You didn't say please. Please. We get some meat on those bones yet. Girl like you, you must have lots of boyfriends. Maybe one for every day of the week. Hey. <laughs> Bet you make them real happy, too. Hey, don't you have anything else better to do? Maybe you weren't listening, Wimpo, but I told you to shut up. The lady's upset enough without you making it worse. She's loving it. Probably the first time in years she's had a man around. Tell you what, later on I'll talk to the boss about untying you. We can have a little romance, a little fun and games. Hey, leave her alone! I told you to shut up. Now I'm gonna have to bust some of your teeth and get your mouth all swollen up. Get away from him! Hey, he ain't dead. Just rearranging his face a little bit. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I could smack him again and put it back where it was. No. Please leave him alone. You know, I knew you'd say that. I'll bet that you'd do about anything just to save his neck, wouldn't you? It's a good thing there's nobody searching for you. Guy would drown out there in that rain. Get away from her. Let's go, chap. Been in here long enough. I'll be back tonight. Nick, are you all right? I've been better. I've been worse. Can you sing? What? Sing, huh? Make noise. I've got a plan to get us out of here. I don't want them to hear. Oh. Right, come on. Yeah. Let's go. All right. It's it's Juliet. So, what are you doing? I've had enough of your teasing. <laughs> Can't you just let me say hello? Give me a chance to catch no, my breath. No, I want you, and I'm gonna get what I want. No more games, Juliet. Jack, what's the matter with you? You never used to be so crude. You never used to play so many games, either. Oh, I see games are out, huh? What do you call the game with, with Mason at lunch today? I, I suppose you don't want to know what information I found out for you. That's right, I don't. Uh, I, thought, I thought you wanted me to, me to spy for you. What happened? Nothing. I'm just not interested in the case. Right now, all I want is you. Stop it. Listen, that's what you came over here for, isn't it? I didn't come over here to be attacked by a stupid, oversexed maniac. Now, I didn't expect to meet a prissy little tease, either. Aren't you just a bit over-anxious to get me in the sack? I've had you in the sack. I want you on the floor. Oh, that's romantic. You love it. No, I don't. It repulses me. You're a liar. There's not a prudish bone in your body. All right, well, that's all right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm a little too much for you. Where are you going? I'm going over to your sister. Despite what you say about her hating me, I think I'll be welcome in her bed. Guess again. I don't guess, Julia. I always know. I'm not going over there. You just watch me. Why don't you try to be a little more original? You tried that once, Jack. Yeah, I'll do it as much as I want. Oh, God, I like hell you will. Well, how do you like that? History repeats itself. Your aim is just as bad as the last time. Now who's the liar? I hit you the last time. Do you remember? Well, of course you hit me, but you didn't do any damage. A gash requiring 14 stitches is no damage. Just as serious as ever. I really had you going there for a minute, didn't I? And you accuse me of playing games? Yeah, I know it's my night off, but I, uh, I need the money. As I pointed out to you earlier, young lady, your financial condition does not concern me. It's not like I'm asking for overtime or anything. All right, all right, but just this once. That's all I need. Thank you very much. I mean, I mean, I felt so bad. 
I mean, I know you wanted to stay at the prom, and I just couldn't help it. Selfish, huh? No. Just possessive. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not perfect, right? Well, neither am I, so... So you, uh... You know, forgive me for the, uh, the way I acted last time we were here? I wasn't mad at you. Oh, you could have <laughs> fooled me. Oh, come on. And the campers at table seven, a little bit more butter. Christy, what are you bread. Well, You're off tonight? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't have anything better to do. You know, my hair washed, laundry done. Couldn't reach my fairy godmother on <laughs> cosmic telephone, so. <laughs> <laughs> what, you what? The cosmic, didn't he tell you about the fairy on the telephone? No, it's, um, just something silly here. We, um, well, no, I, we just, the, uh, the cosmic telephone. We were just, um. We made it up in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah, in the kitchen. Well, aren't you gonna tell her all the rest of it? Well, um, yeah, maybe later, but, uh, right now we're, uh, kind of having a little private talk, so, uh. Oh, so, leave, Christy. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. It's okay. Oh, yeah, don't worry. You just tell it like it is. Bye. This is it. You know what to do. Sleeping all right? Long day for him. <clears throat> Can I talk to you for a minute privately, please? I'm listening. Listen, I know you wouldn't tell us who had us kidnapped and all, but how about trading that for something you want? Like what? Now? Why not? Nobody else is around. Got yourself a deal, Blondie. <laughs> so when are you going to tell me who it is? When I get tired of doing this. Stop it! Take your hands off her! You are a slow learner, pal. Hold it! Don't, don't, lady. Oh! Ow! Get Try to fight me. Tommy! Hey! Why are you taking it, honey? Watch your feet. Ah, you've proven yourselves to be a formidable team. I have no choice but to separate you. Listen, mister, if you hurt her, if you touch one air her hands... Save it, Mr. Hartley. Whatever you say or you don't say, I'll still do as I please. Yes, I understand. Yeah, well, it's nice to know that you're trying. All right, just a moment. Aiden, it's Cruz. Hello. Yes. He says they're doing everything they can, but... It's all right. It's all right. We'll, we'll find her, baby. We'll, we just gotta keep your spirits up, okay? If anything happens no. to Kelly, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Damn, why, Kelly? Oh, Daddy. Okay. Why the only one among us without sin? Kelly? No, 
just me. And this. Is Kelly all right? What's that for? Tell me my bedtime. Oh, in a matter of speaking, yes. Now, in answer to your previous question, Kelly is all right. For now. At precisely 10 o'clock, though, if our ransom demands have not been met, Kelly will no longer be all right. She'll be dead. You're insane. Perhaps. But as that ticking of the clock grows louder in your own disintegrating mind, remember this. The words I leave you to sleep with. Sanity is a very, very fragile thing. Good night, Mr. Hartley. Sweet dreams. Listen, if you're trying to roll me, there's a law against it. You're, you're having an affair with me and you're carrying pictures of Augusta in your wallet? She's my sister. She's my sister. Are you in love with her? I said, are you in love with her? Answer me! Answer me, damn you! How could he forget that I cut his shoulder open? Why did he say that I didn't hit him? Julia, it's you. Good. No need for pretense. You always pretend, Augusta. Well, we never liked each other, but at least we were honest about it. Which is more than I can say for the rest of the family. I thought it was just you. But, no, everyone knew that Lionel was living in this house. Everyone was fooling me. I mean, that behavior is absolutely inexcusable. Augusta, if you just stop for a minute, I can, I can explain the theory to Save you. Save your breath. This is one-sided story, my side, and I'll deal with it my own way. I wanted to strangle Warren, then I find out Lakin knows about it. I'm ready to practice retroactive birth control. Well, don't worry, I will get my last laugh on this family. What is it Lionel always said, don't get mad, get even? Wasn't it something like that? You're not listening to a word I'm saying. You haven't even heard me. Yes, I did. I heard you. I'm just, I'm just thinking. About what? About Jack. Oh, well, forget I asked. No, no. This is important. See, something's different. He's different. It, it's changed. Haven't you noticed? You mean about him grabbing you on the couch? Yes, I agree. That is not the Jack Lee I remember. No, no. There's, there's just something wrong. and I just, I can't put my finger on it. Well, then just don't bother and forget about him. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay closer to him than ever. But this time with my eyes open, there is, there's definitely something going on here. Be careful. You're not immune to his charm. Being hurt by a man once is painful. Twice can be devastating. Only those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. And since I remember every single thing, it should be much more interesting the second time around. I can't hear you. Talk louder. It's the static from the storm. I need your answer, Jack. All right, go ahead. Do it. I don't see what else we can do at this point. 
Although I think maybe you're getting a little carried away with these experiments of yours. There will be medical as well as psychological breakthroughs. Nothing like this has ever been done before. Even the recombinant DNA molecule. Please, please, please. <laughs> Spare me the details. I don't care what you're working on. As long as it works. All right, I'll be in touch. I'll be so glad to be out of this town. Just so that cousin of mine lives to see the results. I want to hear him admit that the real genius of the family isn't him. It's me. No. Please don't do this. <laughs> it's past the clock. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> 